Hi there guys, my name is Trevor Owsley, teaching that there is a more simpler way of understanding spirituality and life. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of numbers. Maybe you're seeing double one, double one, double two, double two, double three, double three, and so on. Trying to understand the meaning of this seems impossible. So today I'm going to be sharing with you what I went through because the very same thing happened to me. So let's start from the beginning so that you get an idea of what it was that I went through so that maybe you can look at it in your journey and say, oh my God, you know, that's what happening to me. So let's start from the beginning. I discovered that there is a code that is written inside all of us. I call it God's washing instructions to find our own divinity and why not? I also discovered we are not human beings, but in fact, be me beings. I also discovered that the word human really didn't have any meaning to who I was at all. In fact, the word human was the very thing that was killing me through ignorance of my own journey, which was keeping me blind to my true potential of self. I also discovered that God never left any of us out as being one of the Creator's children. This is very important. I also discovered, as I went on this search of understanding who I am, that I could also perform miracles of healing. And so will you. In fact, what I discovered was a way to heal my own blindness, my own deafness, and to raise myself up from my own deathbed, which meant I realized I was walking through life being dead to my own journey. Once I'd healed myself, I discovered that the kingdom of God was right in front of me. Now, wouldn't that just be so nice? Wouldn't that be the search of what your soul is trying to get you to understand that the very life that you've been living, you've not paid attention to it, no appreciation to it. You know, you've come here to witness life in all of its beauty. I know I didn't know or understand what life was all about. I didn't understand who I was in life. So when you go through understanding what these numbers are, is teaching you. The soul wants you to recognize how wonderful this creation is and it also wants you to recognize the, crea the creation of who you are. So my code of beamism, which is what happened to me through understanding these numbers, gave me the sight and the understanding that by being a beamy being, all was going to be revealed to me as my greatest gift and challenge. For understanding that by being a human, which left me blind, deaf, and also in the dark, I also realized that a beamy being was all about discovering that the kingdom of heaven was also within me. I discovered the cure for human illness in three letters, two words, and it's called beamy. And it did, because as I said, human being didn't do anything for me. It was killing me off. There was a process there that just said, you know, you're born, you go through life, you have your relationships, you get your jobs, you get your married, and then in the end you get ill, you get old, and you die. But with understanding this process of understanding these numbers that kept coming up, it was telling me and it was showing me the potential of who I was, which meant I was about to transform from a human being into a beamy being, which was completely different. Saw things in completely different ways. And this is what I'm trying to share with you. So it's not just being spiritual, because we're in a world now where we're trying to understand what is spiritual, what is spirituality. But the most important thing I would like to bring through is who am I as being a being on this planet. And so that's why three letters, two words called be me, as in being you, is one of the most important, special creations of life. But do you appreciate it? My answer to that, I'm guessing, is that that's a no, because I didn't get it. I didn't appreciate who I am. So by understanding these three letters, two words called be me, it's just a B, stroke, M-E, be me, nice and simple. This information is in all creation on this planet. Basically, if we take all the way the identity that man has made for all the creations of life, basically, everything is be me by nature. For instance, 
A tree is a tree because we called it a tree. A monkey is a monkey because we called it a monkey. And so therefore, we've named everything. And we got named a human being. But in my transformation, human being, as I said, just wasn't going to kick it. There was something there that was wrong. So I went on the search to discover, but what is the meaning of life? Who am I? What am I doing? What's my potential? The beamy being came to me through an amazing journey, and it was dark. And the reason why it was so dark is because I totally lost myself. All the things that I kind of knew of being a human being, the things I did, the things I said, the way that I looked at life was technically all human. But when this message started to arrive and started to fill me up with new information, basically, God, the Creator, said, be me. Because everything was a be me being. A tree was just being a be me. A monkey was just being a be me. The sun is just a be me. The moon is a be me. It's just doing everything that it does in the way that it does it doesn't expect anything else from itself. A blade of grass. If I ask the blade of grass what you're being, what's the answer to that? Well, I'm just being me. It does not know its color is green. It does not know it's a blade of grass. We called it that. So basically, we're a walking, talking, creative work of art from the creator. We are an expression of his artwork. We are be me beings who are artists, H-E-A-R-T-I-S-T, artists. And we're here to create the new awakened being who has evolved into healed being that can perform miracles of healing so naturally. Now, I didn't think that was possible, neither. Trust me on that one. I didn't think I could heal anything, especially not myself. But on my journey, I discovered that that is actually a lie. So it's not until we adapt our true identity of a beamy being and change the way of the human consciousness of being responsible for the well-being of this planet and all of its beings, because if not, humanity is lost and we will forever spiral into becoming dark, lost and confused. And basically, We'll just go through relationships and we won't care about them relationships. Because one of the things that I discovered on this planet is someone's killing someone somewhere through greed, race or religion. It's not real. It's not right. It shouldn't be. Basically, humans have become killers of God's children, God's animals. And for that, we are naturally destroying the kingdom of God before our very eyes. Let me share a vision with you. I had this vision that when I die and I go into the spirit world and ask God, where is the kingdom? God will say, you just left it. So I bring the new instructions to life. A message from the world of spirit that was given to me in a code because spirit doesn't waste time and energy using words that serve no purpose. So look at your journey and try to understand how many words do you use in the course of a day, a week, a month? Are they good words? Most of the times you're judging yourself, you're judging life, and the words are just going to put you down. So this code has been simply given in a way where all beings can understand its meanings simply and beautifully. Now the reason why I say beautifully, because I come from an industry of beauty. I just love the word of beauty. I think everything is beautiful. I think uh, a dead flower is beautiful. But of course, I didn't see that before. You just look at it and say, it's a dead flower. But there is beauty in that. I wanted to see the beauty in all things, especially myself and the people that I'd met. Because there's one thing that you're not being taught on this planet is how to have a beautiful mind. So this is the code I call beamism. Beamism means I exist. And it's the new message that will evolve beings into their true identity as children of God. But most importantly, children of the earth. 
Now, to me, that rings true because God has already been coined. So let's look at ourselves as children of the earth. I love that. There are many beings that are being born. When you look at children, they kind of love where they're at. You know, a stick and a puddle is their entertainment. They can jump in puddles and think that it's the most craziest thing. They have fun. We've lost fun. And I think a lot of spiritual teachers and a lot of spiritualism, and including religions, are so stiff. They're just boring. There's nothing in there that's inspiring. There's no get up and go. There's no come on, you know. There's no inspiration in that. I come from a world of glamour, catwalks, magazines, modelling agencies, beautiful women. It was a great job. But I wanted to know how to use that energy within myself that said, okay, that's just a job. That's what I do for a living. But I wanted that energy for me to be able to think, you know, I'm a beautiful creation of God. And everyone that I meet is also a beautiful creation of God. So one of the things I would like you to do is when you look at yourself in the mirror, Stop putting yourself down and just look at yourself and say, I'm a beautiful creation of God. Because in actual fact, you are. A monkey is, a tree is, an ant is. It's all a beautiful creation of God. So, the world has got you believing. You have to die before you can get into the kingdom of God, which also tells you that you will be going to a better place when you leave here. Now, the problem with this statement is it allows people to do nothing about making this world, this body, this mind, and our energy the better place to live. We are here to wake up, just like Buddha did, wake up to the fact that we can transform as beings. So I bring the Be Me Being because it was the journey I went through. And this leads me into seeing certain numbers like double one, double one, double two, double two, double three, and double three, and so on. There are many people out there that are saying what these numbers mean and why. I want to put my idea to this phenomenon because it also happened to me when I started to wake up. So this is my interpretation of the significance and the importance of these numbers that will determine where you are in your transformation process. Let's say you as a human being sit at 12 o'clock on the clock of time. Then all of a sudden you start seeing double one, double one, which to me represents one o'clock. This awareness lets you know that you are about to start on a new journey, a new adventure. But this adventure is going to be internal. It's going to be the journey into your inner world of who you are. I know, scary place because you don't like your inner world, you don't like your inner self because that's why you're so busy on the outside world. But... This is the soul, the spirit of you that says, I've had enough of what life means. It's not good enough. The soul lets you have free will for the first part of your journey to experience all there is for you to go through in the process that we call life. But have you ever whispered, surely there must be more to life than this? Because if you did, then that was the moment your soul started to wake up to the call you just put out. Did you do that? I bet you did. Because you know why? I did. That was the moment when I turned around and I put my head in my hands and I just thought, God, there's got to be more to life than this. It, it can't keep being this. It's too boring. And even though my life was exciting at the time, I just thought, it's not enough. I'm here on this great creation and something's missing. So this will be the moment where you'll start to see the magic of numbers. You will experience 12 chapters 
12 experiences that will take you around the clock of time. The only thing about this journey though is this, one hour will not be one hour. This will be a chapter and this chapter can last for years because double one, double one is the calling for change. But how many hours, days, weeks, months, even years will you heed the calling? Seeing these numbers for the first time is awakening your attention into questioning, why am I seeing these numbers? This is enough for you to think you're going mad. Try telling this to your friends and family of what you are seeing. They will definitely think you've gone crazy. And the reason being is, it's because it's not happening to them. It's happening to you only. And of course, many millions, I would like to think, that it's also happening to them too. So moving from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock is the fight, the surrender, to take the challenge, not knowing where it's all going to lead you. This is the place where your inner feelings start to change, where you just don't seem to fit in anymore. Your job may get very uncomfortable. Even your relationships will get uncomfortable. You may start to realize that what you used to do, you don't want to do anymore. But there is a drive a moment where it's all getting unbearable, your energy starts to go down, your personality seems to take a dive, and your happiness and laughter has become very serious. I know you know what you, I know what I'm talking about. You start to think, what's happening to me? Why am I thinking like this? Why don't I feel right in everything that I do, considering that I used to feel pretty good? These are the signs of double one, Double one. People say it's the calling of the angels, and at first, yeah, you can believe that to be so. Let me, let me give it to you this way. There is something that is so much more than an angel calling you, and it's closer than you think. In actual fact, it's called you. It's going to be the soul of you that's calling you because it's the universal language of truth, your truth. This is going to be what we call the dark night of the soul. And this is where your true self, be me being, is calling you to take action. This journey is all about facing your own fears, your inner demons. This journey is going to teach you about who you are, what your beliefs are, and your fears of pains are going to show you who you have become. I hear people say, who am I? My answer to this question is to discover who you are not. Because you are, at this moment in time, in pain. Stop and think about it. Ask yourself seriously, who am I? You've got to get to the truth of this because who you are is a pained human being. 